Now, to get a better understanding of the Israeli protests, we're joined by Eugene Michael Jones. He's editor of Culture Wars magazine. Uh, Dr. Jones, thank you for joining us uh, from Indiana. Uh, quick question. Isn't it ironic that Israelis want better living standards, yet Israel is keen on preventing humanitarian aid reaching Gaza and also housing is the main issue. That means destruction of more land with direct negative impact on Palestinians. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we're talking about economic issues here. I think that the economic issue uh, has remained the same there, uh, but I think what we're talking about is Israel's positioning weakening across the board, and they, they no longer have a defensible perimeter in terms of their foreign policy. The, the key uh, issue here was the, the general just last week who attacked Netanyahu for his continuing threat to attack Iran. They, just, they think that's suicidal now uh, because the world situation has changed. Uh, the situation has weakened, and they need to withdraw to a much more defensible foreign policy perimeter at this point. Well, could, you, could the people go as far as wanting Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu removed from office? Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. I think that the other thing that's going to put, be a nail in his coffin is this whole attack in Oslo. But the attack in Oslo is shaping up as it's pretty, becoming pretty clear that it was a false flag operation and that the Israelis were involved in it in some way or another. This man was a flaming Zionist, Breivik, the, the guy who uh, did the killing, a flaming Zionist, and this is all coming out on the Internet, and this is going to weaken uh, uh, Israel's position vis-a-vis -vis the uh, world opinion. Well, Oslo was ready to recognize the Palestinian state in September. They would not let Israeli submarines dock in, in Norwegian ports. Uh, the, the Israeli fingerprints are all over this uh, false flag operation. So, Dr. Jones, you, if I'm understanding correctly, you're saying that this whole situation with the uh, people protesting for better housing is a facade, and you're linking Israel to the attacks in Oslo, correct? Yeah, this was a, a, a Zionist who, who, who uh, pulled off this attack. I think that the, the realists in Israel realize that they don't have a defensible foreign policy perimeter anymore. They're going to have to step back from the Netanyahu demands of attacking Iran, which have been going on for years. It's not, it's not going to ha I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening anymore. Well, and and so they, they have to adopt a much more realistic foreign policy. And this is, I think, an expression of that fact rather than any economic fact. Well, Dr. Jones, thank you for taking time to join us on World News. That's uh, Dr. Eugene Michael Jones, editor of Culture Wars magazine, uh, joining us here on World News and giving us his views and latest with the Israeli protests.